All right, this is part two of Subnautica, modeling and texturing, and I'm going to continue to work on this thing that I'm thinking I'm calling the cylinder hole. And one thing I want to show you that I'm going to do is I made a change here. I decided I wanted to delete the, uh, the geometry indents and um, just use Substance Painter to do that. And I've added some edge loops. So if you happen to be following along and you don't know how to delete that stuff, just just delete all the way up to here and then extrude it back down and add you know four or five edge loops and that's just in case I decide I do want to put a subdivision surface on to, to give it some support and a bit more geometry so so we've got that and it's time now to export this so um, I'm gonna to go to UV image editing and select just that I'm gonna press 1 to look from the side I'm gonna press U and I'm gonna use cylinder projection and that's gonna give me this all right, and that's just fine, just like that. So now we're going to um, convert that, make sure the subdivision is off, uh, to an FPX and bring it into Painter. All right, here it is in Painter. And one thing I forgot to do was to give it a base material, but I'll do that. I'm going to call this cylinder hole. And now I'm going to bake the mesh maps at 2K. Okay, over to the layers. Let's delete that. And for materials, I'm going to choose plastic. And I'm going to take this plastic mat, drag it in. And I'm going to change the color to black, or pretty close to black. Um, but I'm going to turn it off for now so that we can see what we're doing. I'm going to create a regular paint layer. Scroll down and choose color and height only. I'm going to make that black and drag the height down and I'm doing this in case I come back and I make this color not quite so black maybe a more of a gray then the indent will look darker okay so I've got that and I'm gonna do this I'm gonna first of all go to orthographic and I'm gonna do this on the UVs so there they are I'm gonna come to alpha and I'm gonna search for square so I get a nice square brush make it smaller and I'm going to go around here and I'll hold shift and control and I'll get a line all the way through and a little ways down I'm going to put some stuff in between here okay had a bit of a problem there so let's do that one again try see if we get all the way around looks pretty good all right I don't need those anymore so back to just 3d I'm going to turn on symmetry it's symmetry in the X and actually the front I think is over here right here I think that's the front where the ladder will go but I can always spin this around um, I'm gonna call these lines and I'm gonna create another regular paint layer I'm gonna use the same values I'm gonna search over here for a rounded rectangle this one here make it bigger and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and I want actually I'm going to turn off symmetry first this one's a little awkward to place uh, in the middle so I'm just going to do something like that then I'm going to turn it back on and come out somewhere near the sides and do one say around there I'll get one on the other side as well okay that's fine and on the same layer let's search for a circle and this one here and I will squeeze that and then change the size of this I will make it hard okay I'm gonna click here and here and I'll get that on the other side as well and I'll put an emissive material there and that's going to be it I think for those so those are um, I don't know panel insets we do something on this uh, let's create uh, another one because I want the parameters to be different I just want this one to come outwards and um, I'll keep symmetry on we'll zoom in 
I'm going to choose this one. Get something like that. I'll make it bigger though. Maybe something like that. And I'll just put a little emission inside. You can do other stuff, and I might later, but we'll see. Okay, so this is uh, large circles. I'm going to do one more layer, same thing. But because I want this one to be emissive, I'm going to have to make a change to, uh, not there, uh, in texture settings. I have to add an emissive channel, but I'm going to do that there. And so when I come down to here, see there's emissive, I'm going to alt click on that. That's the only one I want. And I'm going to choose sort of a blue color for my emission, something like that. That's going to be fine. And um, I'll just choose circle, this one again. And uh, yeah, that's all I have. Okay, with uh, symmetry on, I'm going to come in here, scale this down. And click right in the middle there. It should go on the other side. I'm going to go right in the middle of that one. And I'm going to scale this one down pretty small. Put it right in the middle of that. That's good enough. Now, to get those to glow, we are going to come over to here. And we are going to turn on... Where am I? Uh, the emissive intensity, let's bring that up a little bit. We'll come over here and activate post effects. Uh, glare, turn that on. And uh, come into it. And the shape will just choose bloom. That's, that's okay there like that. Okay, with that done, what I want to do is I want to duplicate these layers because I'm going to move them down. I'm just going to come down one more level. There might be even other levels. So I'm just going to do that. And on this one, I'm going to add a filter transform so I can move it down. And I'm going to try a Y offset of minus 0.18 and see how that looks. I might want to go down further than that. So let's try negative 0.18. Negative 0 0.2. It's probably all right. Uh, maybe uh, 0.22. No, I'll go to one. I don't want. To, I don't want to be too far down. So I'm not going to look down that far. All right. So I'm going to do that for all of them. Negative 0 0.21. So this one is also going to have that transform filter with the Y negative 0 0.21 that'll bring the circles down and I'll do the same on the emissive there okay so let's try with the black we won't see too too much but you can see that stuff there and in Blender, we can adjust that emission a little bit as well. That's what we get, though. Okay? So I'm going to save that and export the textures back. There's one thing I want to say about the exporting. And what I want to say is in exporting the textures, I need to look for an output template. I'm going to come up here to my PBR Metallic Roughness. And you see, I've got emissive in there. So you need to have emission in there. And I also see that my normal here is using uh, DirectX and I really wanted to use OpenGL so I'm just going to drag that in and choose that all right so um, yeah let's use that PBR metallic roughness choose my output folder and export those textures okay back in blender I'm going to change this name I don't want that and I want um, I believe I called it cylinder hole So I'm going to click on the principal BSDF and shift control T and find those textures. Uh, I believe this is it. Cylinder hole down to there. Don't need the, the emissive yet. So I've got that. And it looks like my, my alphas are pointing in. The only thing is, 
this part here <laughs> is rotated away from where I want it to hide those two things there. I want to focus on these two. I'm going to take this one. Let's go back to layout. And I come in and I'm going to select the bottom. Shift that cursor selected and switch to my 3D cursor there. And I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to rotate this in the Z until I like the position here. No, that's the one there. About there. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, cool. So let's go back now to the shade and tap and get that emission to work. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this and drag it out and shift a shader add shader shift a shader emission okay this is going to control the intensity of that right now it's on everything and then uh, the image texture the emission uh, map so connect that and then we should see that uh, the emission is in there we gotta open it though okay So there it is. I'm just. I'll bring. I'll try. Uh, let's try 18. Not too overwhelming at this point. So there that is. And if I wanted to put a subdivision surface on this, let's give it a try. Those edge loops help. And it looks a little nicer. I mean, it brings up the poly count for sure. I mean, you know. So, not the end of the world though. Okay. So let's take this, let's hide the mirror, and let's just look at this piece right here right now. Uh, let's change the material here right now, and let's call this um, cylinder ladder. All right, let's make sure there isn't a subdivision on, and the mirror is off right now. Okay, UV editing. It's going to be very easy. Uh, I'm going to try just a, U, just a smart UV project. And the reason is because, because the texturing is so simple here um, that I can get away with doing that. So, so why not? UV, uh, smart UV project for nylon margin 0 0.03 or 0 0.003. And there it is. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pack, and you could use U, um, Blender UV pack islands. I'm going to use Pack Master 3, which is a, a paid thing. It just packs a little bit better, but you could easily use Blender. So we've got that, and now export that as an FBX. All right, here's my ladder, and I've got the name there. So, of course, the first thing to do is to bake the mesh maps. I'll again do 2K and uncheck ID. We don't need that. And because this is a separate object, uh, and I'm going to put black on this, it really doesn't matter if it's not the exact shade of black. No one's really going to be able to tell. So I'm going to go to that plastic mat again, and I'm going to change the color to a, you know, an almost black color. Just like that. That's fine. All right, so everything looks good. The only thing I want to do is I want to make this an orangey-yellow color. All right, so the way I'll do to do that is I'm going to make a fill layer with a black mask. And in here, I'm going to choose my color for that. All right, and I'm going to get it to, I don't know, something like that. It would be just fine. I'm going to click on the black mask and come over here to Polygon Fill. And back to my properties, I'm going to choose this one here, Mesh. I click right there, and it's done got that on there okay and I don't even need to name these but I'll, I'll save this and we're going to export this there's no emissive there's no opacity or nothing so just a regular you know whatever we'll we'll just do fine okay so here in blender cylinder ladder shift control T cylinder ladder base color to roughness it's on there and apply that a mirror I'll just put that mirror back on and there it is and if you really wanted to waste polys you could put a subdivision on it and of course it brings the polys up I'm gonna actually leave the subdivision on just looks a little nicer for now and there is that and the last piece is this one let's just focus on that one and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select shift alt and click there and I'm gonna control plus and come up one more level I'm gonna put two materials on this this bottom one and the one for the top with those rows as well. 
just come to the materials, get rid of the base material on can right now. All right, there. We go back in there, and I'm going to create a new material, and I'm going to call this uh, cylinder mat <laughs> bot for bottom and assign control I to select everything else and add a new material cylinder back top and assign and I'll just double check uh, that say that worked now. okay everything's good okay so we're gonna have to unwrap this of course so let's get that going and for this one I am just going to use cube projection so there it is select it all and pack okay good bake the maps at 2k this one is going to have a black area a black region there or black area so i'm going to bring in that plastic mat and change the color to a blackish color so that's fine there and for the top i'll bring that in and i'll make it sort of a off white not quite white something like that and then there's one more feature on this let's go to orthographic view look down from the top i'll create a new paint layer and i'm going to use color and height the color is going to be black pretty much black the height i'm going to be quite far down and alphas i'm going to search for rounded rectangle i'm going to turn on symmetry and i'm going to rotate this by 45 just like this i'm going to click there and i'm going to click there okay and that is that give you impression of depth anyhow not quite as nice as geometry but it's okay okay save that and export the textures okay cylinder mat there's bot so let's do cylinder mat bot is roughness and base color there's the bottom and choose the top cylinder mat top base color to roughness layout and hopefully those look a little bit indented i probably could go a bit more but that's probably fine and this is what we end up with as our pretty much final model unless i want to put some more detail on this i don't know that i do so let's just cycle through a few more lights lighting scenarios nothing too exciting really uh for this part uh, but I do like looking at it in different lightings. Not that one, maybe. That's where we were, I think. All right. Anyways, you get the you get the drift. So very easy to model, very easy to texture this way. Uh, I'll go on and I'll I'll, I'll find some other pieces uh, using the same theme, the same hexagon uh, pattern. And we'll put another one here and another one there, and we'll just have a few subnautic props. Maybe we'll even do some ships or something. But we'll see. Thanks.